Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Aquarius. Hope you guys are all well. Welcome back to all my subscribers. A big welcome to all the new viewers. Thank you everyone for dropping in. Let's see what the overall energy is surrounding you in love. Keep in mind, I will be doing a completely singles reading, bonus readings. They'll be up in the next few days, two or three days. And uh, it will be for people who have no one in their radar and not interested in an X. Okay, it'll be a different spread. So... If you want to catch those, hit that subscribe button or check back in a few days. All right. Aquarius. Let's focus on Aquarius. What is the overall energy surrounding Aquarius in their love life? Overall energy surrounding Aquarius. Oh, magic prayer. Ooh. Some of you are manifesting and praying about something. Yeah, you're going to trust your intuition. Some of you could be... Uh, listening to music, okay, reminiscing, thinking about the past with somebody. It could be drawing you into the past, but it's also probably helping you manifest, all right? There's something magical happening here. So very nice energy, Aquarius. Yeah, you could be hoping and praying for something. Ooh, yeah, there's something unexpected. <laughs> A lot of people are getting this. Unexpected communications. Something's happening. You may be... Wow, some of you are possibly uh, trusting your intuition here. Something here you're thinking about that happened may be unexpected. Some music may be drawing you into that energy. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, so I feel like there's a tower that's come down or something unexpected It's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, you've been manifesting this and praying for this and it's about to happen by the looks of it. Could be an epiphany and a, a memory, but I see there's like something here that's going to come. Somebody's going to reach out to you, I feel, very unexpectedly. Any of you who are kind of stuck in the past and you got this doom and gloom kind of feeling, all right, you may be praying and hoping that what this doesn't happen, but don't worry because it actually feels positive, okay? It actually does. I just think something's, yes, hold yourself in high regard. There's something that you, a tower might have come down with something or something happened and you're like purging and healing, but I feel like you're getting something you want here. I think you are hoping and praying for a wish come true. I feel like it's going to happen. Okay, you're probably uh, have manifested this trusting your intuition or your intuition maybe you heard a song on the radio that kind of thing and it kind of got your your mind going here it has something to do with something you manifested yeah so i feel like some of you have kind of a fear something's coming to an end i feel like there's actually yeah there see there's going to be i have told you it felt positive you're going to get something you want for one thing there's a painful situation that's coming to an end something is done a painful cycle okay it is over so beautiful three of cups energy i feel like there's so you could be getting a surprise invitation yeah look at that ace of swords some kind of epiphany some truth something's happening really lovely someone may have had an epiphany about you wanting to come in there there's, there's some kind of truth some kind of clarity it's an aha moment okay some of you are going to get what you want or you're having an aha moment that you need to manifest what you want okay purging and releasing old relationship baggage if some of you are just done with it there's this is also a cycle that's over it is finished so very nice yes Wow, I, I feel it's very positive. There is somebody coming in to speak a truth. There is some kind of success. See, it's pointing right up. You're going to have some success. You're getting an invitation, uh, some kind of communication. Something happy is about to happen. It's going to bring you joy. All right, very nice. Ooh, yeah, someone's going to reach out. Could be an earth sign, but it really could be anyone. But this is you. Somebody holds you in high regard. They see you as a star. They're, you're going to get a surprise invitation or they're going to reach out and let you know. Uh, it's going to put an end to something that's been bothering you or you've been feeling off. I think your intuition's telling you something here. 
<laughs> you're going to have some success. There's a victory. You've got this Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's reaching out. They're going to offer you communication. They're, it's action-oriented, although slow. This Whoever this is wants to do this the right way. Somebody may be coming in to end the situation between the two of you. They're going to go about it right. Okay, or maybe you want to end something with someone and go out and meet new people because you're holding yourself in high regard. You could be ending something with someone, purging and healing, it's done. You're going to have success, and I feel like if you hold yourself in high regard, keep your wishes, your hopes, and dreams intact. You will have success healing. So I do feel like if you're ending something with someone, you want to get out and meet someone new, you'll have success. Someone will come towards you. So it's also telling you if you end something with someone, or somebody's ended something with you, it's been painful, you are going to heal, you'll have success, and everything's, it's like saying everything is going to be all right, but I feel like you're, someone's coming towards you, yeah, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, some of you are very focused on yourselves, I feel like there's somebody who sees you as very sexy, attractive, they see you as the star, this is something that you want, after a period of purging and healing from a tower moment, but, you know, again, when you flip it around, it's a beautiful energy. Yeah, there's some, some of you are focusing on your work. You're in this Queen of Wands energy. It also could be uh, somebody with the Queen of Wands, man or woman, who's coming towards you. Uh, to They're very focused on you, find you very sexy and attractive. They probably are. This could be someone you worked with. Some of you are focusing on your work with the Queen of Wands energy working very hard, things are moving forward, something is going really well, yeah, there's some kind of communication, someone's thinking about you, they're going to take action, in fact, you could have several messages, you could have a work offer, somebody may see you as very focused, very career driven, uh, very creative, very hard working, and very successful, and you could be getting an offer, someone's thinking of making you a work offer, or they could be, somebody could be using a work offer to reach out to you to make something right. You're in someone's thoughts, whatever it is, they want to do it right. So, and if you are ending something with someone, you want to end a painful relationship, and you want that tower to come down, I feel it's like you're, some of you could be having an epiphany, you need to release and heal something, and you need, it's telling you if you want to have success, and you want a victory, you need to go about it the right way. Share your feelings, be kind, okay? But it actually feels like an energy coming in, okay? But like I say, I always do what's coming in, what's going out kind of energy. I always think about that, right? So for some of you, it's it's outgoing. You're ending something. It's going to be successful. It's going to bring you success. You're likely going to meet somebody new after a painful situation, so yeah, I, somebody is reaching out for, for those of you in that scenario. Others of you, some, you, you know you're going to get a surprise communication. Someone's going to reach out and tell you that they see you as a star. Look at that, telling you the truth, holding you in high regard. You're having success with your wishes and your dreams, your hopes. It's all becoming a reality. So really, really nice. No matter how you look at it, it's very positive. So lovely. Some of you are going to have some kind of offer. Uh, it's telling you, go take it slow, all right? Pay attention to everything that's going on. Make sure whoever comes towards you, hold your saying to the truth. Hold yourself. You want to have success in love. you got to hold yourself in high regard, and I feel like a lot of you have done that, okay? Yeah, and you're going to go about things right. You're going to take it slow. You're going to continue concentrating on your work manifesting career okay i feel like it's just a beautiful energy someone's thinking about you though <laughs> someone wants to make something right or they want to talk to you but there, there's definitely an ending and it's going to bring you happiness and joy so yeah you're you may have ended something you're moving away from a situation you're avoiding a disaster or you have somebody coming back in suddenly wanting to make peace Oh, whatever your story is, okay? So, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's it popped in my head. Some of you, it's incoming. Some of you, it's like outgoing. You're ending something. All right. Aquarius. Let's see. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? Some of you are just finding that balance in your life. It's bringing you success. You're, you're a star. Uh, you're, yeah, it's beautiful, especially when it comes to work. It looks like you have work offers, something creative. You're being very much sought after, possibly in the future here. If it's not happening now, 
manifest it by working hard, putting in the effort. Yeah, there's something ending here. There's a burden or someone's coming towards you to take responsibility for something that happened. Okay? Or you're just releasing something. Some old baggage. You know, Ten of Wands is baggage. But yeah, it's something's headed your way or you're moving away, avoiding a disaster. Very cool. Ten of Swords. Why is this here? Ten of Swords energy for Aquarius. Whoops. Ah, yeah. So some of you are ending something. Yeah, someone may be coming in to have a reconciliation or some of you have healed and released old baggage from the past, moving away to avoid a disaster. Okay, moving on, taking everything you learned with you. Very positive. Learning to hold yourself in high regard. Beautiful. Yes. I feel like there's definitely a reconciliation for some of you, though, or somebody's coming back from the past or something painful happened. They want to make it right. Okay, so if you want to end something with one person and move towards someone else and reach out or you're going to go out, you might run into somebody from the past, too. So be prepared for that. If you go out and about in the next while, out in the community, I know a lot of you aren't going out a lot, but, you know, it's possible in most places to go out to a park or a coffee shop or you know, all sorts of things. So, yeah, so there is something happening here, some kind of stability, safety, and security. This is going to be positive. I feel like something wonderful is about to happen. You're going to have some kind of success and victory, some kind of clarity. Somebody wants to speak the truth, how they see you, they value you. Someone holds you in very high regard. Someone sees your worth here. So Ace of Swords, you know your worth too, right? And you've learned this for those of you who are releasing negative energy. Leaving the past in the past and moving forward to something much more stable and successful. So yeah, beautiful. Ace of Swords, why is this here? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I feel like there's someone here who never told you how they felt about you. Ah, you see, they held back. They never were never clear about their feelings, possibly their intentions, and I feel like they're coming in to say the right thing and do the right thing here. Wow, yeah, because something may have ended between you and someone. You may have moved away from them to avoid a disaster, but you've learned something from this and that you held yourself in high regard, okay? You're learning to do that. You know your worth, and I feel like this person is getting it that you've taught this person something they've also learned okay so they may be coming back to make you an offer to make things right okay yeah there's love here this person never told you that they loved you they you know but you have a choice here right this is a choice in love and this person's coming in they want success they're choosing you maybe in the past they didn't they ended things uh, i think you're choosing to love yourself first and that's why this person's coming back okay yeah, I feel like this person definitely has feelings for you. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. You might have a couple people with Earth in their chart, to be honest. Yeah, this you're not so sure you want to invest in this one person, anyone from the past, I feel. But I also feel like you're being patient, you're waiting, okay, for something. Some of you, your intuition knew this person was going to come back and apologize. This could be something that happened. It's like a day or two. You might have said, look, I'm not dealing with this right? You're not treating me properly. You may have just ended it, okay? It may have been a quite a painful ending, but it is past. But I also see somebody coming in with very sweet feelings, reminiscing, missing you, uh, wanting to reconcile, all right? They may be coming in to do something very sweet to make things right. doesn't have to be a big deal where they did something horrible. They may have just said something that really put you off, that made you feel they didn't value you. So you probably, you may have just hopped in your, your car and just drove away, that kind of thing, right? You just turned, or you turned your back and went, no, sorry, not doing this. See you later. So I feel like this person's coming in to invest. I feel like they are ready to invest here with you, okay? But you're not going to be so sure. So you're going to pay attention to how this person approaches you to make sure they do everything just right or you won't. And I feel like this is the message you've sent this person. Yes. Very nice. Yes, there is going to be communication. Some of you are taking your energy elsewhere. To be honest, you are. Some of you will listen to what this person has to say. I feel like you are going to listen to what they have to say. Some of you aren't so sure about it, okay? You want to make sure whatever it is. So you're going to look at this. You're going to take your time. I feel like this person's waiting for the right time, to be honest, too. Like, 
timing maybe timing wasn't right in the past something happened maybe it timing is right maybe they're waiting for the right time so yeah they oh yeah they want to tell you how they feel about you some of you are are not going to invest in this person you're taking your energy elsewhere oh yes someone here who's thinking about you oh yeah soul searching wow yeah, you definitely have taught somebody something. They're soul searching, thinking about you, possibly watching you. This person wants to have a new beginning. They're trying to figure out how to go about it. So they're looking for answers. They may be watching to see if you've actually moved on, if you're in another connection. So until this person finds out if whether you're having a new beginning or not, uh, they're looking for clarity. You know, they want to know the truth. I think this person holds you in high regard. I do. I think they said something. There was some kind of a communication here where you just kind of purged and released this and moved on because you you value yourself. But they want to come back and tell you that they do. So there's a new beginning. You're having a new beginning. Some of you are going to release this person and you're going to move away. You're going to concentrate on work. You're focusing on yourself, your love life, things you're passionate in, creative prospects, things like that feel like there's another person. Some of you have somebody, and you may be thinking of reaching out to someone as well. Oh, my. Aquarius. What? Yeah. So I feel like you're keeping things to yourself. Yeah, you're working away. You may be working on a secret project, not letting anybody know. I feel like there's someone here that... Oh, someone's trying to figure out what you're up to. They're trying to see if you've had something new and I feel like it's a mystery I don't think they're getting the clarity that they need here to, to approach you just yet someone has never told you how they felt about you this connection this bond I see there's a Gemini person here as well possibly Gemini Taurus cusp for some of you Aquarius people Cancer and Pisces energy there's some secret little bit of confusion someone's afraid a little bit afraid of you because you're very you're in this powerful energy as well some of you are just working in secret on something creative you're working really hard so let's have a boo but i think there's someone who's a little afraid to express their feelings to you because you're very powerful very strong uh you have that energy okay yeah this queen of wands is an energy whether it's you or not aquarius but it i feel it's your energy and i feel like you it, you're at this point where you've become very strong you know your worth and uh you command that kind of respect from people okay so someone's a little afraid to share their feelings we have taurus virgo capricorn somebody's planning something okay they're planning on coming towards you somebody yeah they might want you to work on something for them or work with them. Their intentions is love, though. <laughs> I feel like you could have a definitely a Gemini, Libra, or somebody else with Aquarius in their chart, too. You want something stable. You're going to go out and meet someone new, and I feel like that's what somebody's trying to get clarity on. They want success with you, and I think whatever it is that happened, this person's having like an aha moment. They're getting whatever it is. Like You walked away and ended it. I really feel that. you just like, enough, but they here they come. So, oh, eight of pentacles, you guys. Oh, he's got lots going on remember if this is like your last few readings or not tell me about the eight of pentacles why is this here eight of pentacles energy for aquarius there we go uh yeah so some of you are working on something yeah some of you are going to put some work into meeting something new or there is somebody here who may maybe offer you a job something to do with community there may be teamwork involved here maybe other people involved somebody is coming towards you definitely there's someone is making plans they're looking into the future someone's trying to figure out if things could work between you so you have someone who's thinking about it I think you're going to get a communicate. You might even have a couple people. You may have a choice between two here. You're definitely leaving someone in the past. But I feel they're going to come back and try to reconcile. And in fact, you may they both could be a past person. But I also feel like you're meeting someone new too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. 
Someone's planning a future. Someone's thinking, making plans to reach out to you. They may be actually coming in to put some, you know, effort into uh, getting to know you to have success because they feel that there's some kind of a connection. They want to connect with you, share their feelings. Someone's been afraid. They were hiding their feelings and emotions. Someone who acts a little bit aloof, acts like they don't care. But I feel like whoever it is, his head, they could be your boss. You actually may and may have worked with this person in the past out in some kind of community. There may have been some kind of gossip or something. I don't know, but it doesn't feel negative. It feels like they, it feels like they want to take you out. You, you may be getting an invitation, okay? You may be getting an invitation. Let's see, what is this Three of Cups about? I don't want to take this out of context here. Tell me about the three. Yeah, so I feel like somebody wants to, yeah, they see you as just right. There's some kind of balance here. I feel like this person is trying to figure out if you're right for them, if this situation could work. I feel like they're, it's like they want to do something right because they see that, see that you may be right for them. They maybe didn't in the past with one person, but I feel there's two, so... Yeah, someone sees you as just right. They see you as a power couple. Yeah, they see that you're working very hard. Something to do with the community. There may be other people involved. There's something to do with justice, balance, fairness. Someone wants to make something right with you. And someone sees you as just right. They see you as someone they can work with. Ooh, my goodness, Aquarius. What's going on? I, I think this person knows that they need... To, there's going to be some kind of invitation. Something they're working on and planning. And they know they need to make you feel comfortable. They know that you want to feel safe and secure. Okay, there needs to be that level of stability. Oh my, tell me about, some of you are going to meet, I feel like it's somebody new. Like It's like you're, you've got someone coming back that you walked away from. You've purged and healed, it's done. And they're coming back. But you are also got someone new, somebody you're going to meet. It may have to do with work. You might run into somebody. Like I a lot of times see this Ten of Pentacles is meeting somebody at a market. You might run into somebody at a market or somewhere like that. You know, shopping, things like that as well. Because, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is it's family, it's inheritance, it's money, it's work, it's stability, safety, security. But a lot of times, and I did have an event myself with this card just like this, quite some time ago, where I ran into like five people at, uh, at a market. And every person I ran into, it was in an archway or a doorway. And it was so weird because I had done the reading. Then I went out and I was out getting some computer stuff. And I happened to drive by and I was like, oh, I'm going to go to this market. I was hungry. I knew I needed a few things. So I whipped into this place I never go to, just like that, without even thinking. And literally, before I even got completely parked, I seen someone I hadn't seen for ages, just a person I knew from out and about. And as I walk up to the building, I run into a, a, two girlfriends, one from like grade eight. Uh, the other person was someone I hadn't seen in about four years. Inside, I ran into two more people. Uh, one I didn't approach. They were kind of far away. I actually seen this person. I was like, oh, and I thought, oh, I'll bump into them on the next aisle, but they were gone. Chatted with one, and on my way out after I paid, right in the doorway, I ran into an old boyfriend. <laughs> it was the strangest thing, and I, and I, yeah, I didn't clue in till I got almost home, and I went, oh my goodness, that reading just played out for me in every way, and it was so bizarre, right? So I feel like. Some of you are going to run into this person shopping or somewhere out and about in the community. Uh, it's going to be stable. It's going to be comfortable. It's going to be okay. So whatever it is, I, I feel, and it's kind of a mystery. Like you may have somebody who uh, finds you very attractive. They're planning. Somebody might be planning to run into you somewhere where you go out in the community regular. Uh, they're th thinking about this, making plans. They're keeping it to themselves. It could be a mystery person too with the moon. But it could also be someone who's had feelings for you and never told you. Okay, so very interesting. So here we go with the judgment card. So yeah, so somebody's making a decision. All right, making some kind of decision to express themselves, to kind of put it out there and let you know. And uh, but the decision will be yours in the end. I see some, there's some Libra energy here as well. So this could be a Libra up here that's coming in they want success with you they may be coming in and telling you the truth that they see you as a star 
there's definitely an X energy too for some of you, but I kind of feel like you're moving away. You're going to run into someone new. You got new love coming. Page of Pentacles for Aquarius. What is this person's thinking about you, about making an offer, saying something? Yeah, they have definitely are. They want whatever it is, they're going to be careful what they say. So if you meet, run into someone and you find they kind of hesitate and they're very careful how they choose their words. So it's just the right, you're going to know it's that person who's probably acting like they're not interested, but they actually are. They find you very sexy and attractive. They do know something about you possibly, but it's hard to say. Uh, they could be an old boss or someone you worked with. But it could be someone who's planning this. They may know where you go and hang out, where you're comfortable, what feels like home, and they may just show up there. <laughs> so you, you, you probably know them, but may not be aware of who it is. It might take you a little off guard here, okay? Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so there you are. Yeah, so I feel like some of you are definitely leaving something behind that's not working, all right? This person definitely, or they are, they could be leaving something behind and coming towards you. Uh, there's that scenario as well, because I see that. They may have moved away to avoid a disaster with another person and they're headed your way. Uh, this is somebody who, I feel like some of you, have taken the responsibility upon yourself to end something as well. So it all depends on your scenario. It's a little different. These general readings are so broad. But I feel there's something here. Putting something in the past. Yeah, you're going to put something in the past. You're moving towards success. Tell me about this. Someone actually is deaf or they are. Okay, and they could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in their chart. I see Gemini, Taurus, Cusp. I see Leo. I see Virgo. I see Capricorn, Libra, you Aquarius, Cancer, and Pisces. The whole, the whole gang's here, really. So whatever resonates with you. Here we go. Yeah, so some of you may not be so sure if you want to take this invitation. So they may be somebody coming back around. Okay, they do know they need to make you feel comfortable. They may need to invite you to their home and make you comfortable. Maybe you did this with them in the past, but there is some kind of... Uh, a decision that's going to be made. I think this person's planning something. I feel like they have feelings. There's somebody, you may know them. You may not have seen them for a long time. Like I said, you might run into them. So <laughs> it's going to happen unexpected. <laughs> oh my. Tell me about the magic pair. I love these readings. Yeah, you may not be so sure. This person might be a little afraid you'll reject them. Okay, they might be a little bit worried you won't accept their offer because it looks like they're going to give you an invitation. You may not be so sure, but I feel like they're going to say and do everything just right, hoping that you don't. I. This could be someone you've been trying to release and heal from, from a painful situation that happened some time ago. I feel like you have, whatever it is. It's all, it all feels actually quite positive. So if your intuition's been telling you something, pay attention to it. Or if you hurt, hear a song, you might be driving and hear some song or something. It'd be like, oh, right? It could be unexpected. Yeah, you might run into someone too. All right, tell me about the magic prayer. Yeah, so somebody has definitely been holding back, manifesting. Some of you have been uh, healing, all right, releasing a lot of negative energy and manifesting a new beginning. Um, things are going to start to flow, definitely. I feel there's someone here is hoping and praying that things are healed. Uh, maybe you had a falling out with someone and they're hoping that, uh, you're, you know, things are okay now. Uh, you're healed and they can come in. Maybe they've been waiting for something. I feel as though... It's like this person, they want to say the right things. Like, you know, they may say something like, can we just put whatever happened in the past and move forward, okay? Uh, they may have some very nice things to say. Like I said, there could be an invitation. Uh, they might, you know, let's hook up somewhere and talk and share our feelings. Like, you may have a, you might run into them and have a coffee somewhere, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I kind of feel like you may not be sure. They are worried that you're going to reject this, though. So they're kind of thinking a lot about how to go about it. It's definitely they're planning something. They're looking into the future here, preparing and planning for the future. Yeah, so I feel like this is something that's been manifested. You may not be so sure if you want to. I feel like there is someone who is manifesting a new beginning with you. They're... 
They may be reminiscing, thinking about you, all right? Maybe they heard some something, some music, a song. Yeah, I think that what's going to happen is they're going to, it could be something that they're going through as well, where they don't expect to hear this, and it's going to cause them to manifest a new beginning to fix things. But I, I feel like there's somebody new here. Some of you definitely, because I see two energies, somebody's coming in uh, to do the right thing and it's telling you to go about this the right way because and that's how you've learned to hold yourself in high regard, Aquarius, is going, taking it slow, making sure this person approaches you in the right way. But whoever it is, I feel, is going to do that. You have a new beginning here, but I feel like maybe you're not 100% over this thing from the past, you're really, really close. Nine of staves, you haven't completely re... But it says here you have. So maybe you got two X's and one of them you're you're healed from one. It's done. You're moving away to avoid a disaster. And then you got another one. So take it how it resonates. Let's see this unexpected visitor. You guys always have so much going on. Yeah, so some of you, yeah, there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius coming in. <laughs> You might get an unexpected um, message, communication. I feel like you're going to ask a lot of questions. Some of you are going to want clarity if something happens here. Or you might decide to end something unexpectedly because you get a new offer. You might decide to just release somebody and move away because things haven't been going very well. So you just might. Somebody else might come in. You're going to ask a lot of questions, but yeah, it's quite possible. You might all of a sudden decide to just cut someone out to move towards this new person. Yeah, you're ready for a new beginning. Yeah, so I think it's whatever it is, you're finding something out here. You're getting some kind of clarity, some kind of truth. Some of you are holding yourselves in high regard. Uh, it's making you feel very much in control. I, I feel like you're ready to go off on a new path. Some of you may have Aries in your chart. Yeah, you're you're cutting something out. You're finished with it because you have a new offer. So, but this person, I feel, and I actually feel like the person you're cutting out is going to try to come back in. Some of you are going to try to figure out whether this new person's right for you. You're not so sure you want to take their invitation. Okay, but you're definitely taking one look, you know, in the past. You're turning your back, looking over your shoulder, going, no, I'm ready for something new. It's right here. So, yeah, it's kind of probably going to happen at once, this new offer, and it's going to make you want to release somebody uh, that you've been purging and healing from, that it's time to put an end to it. It's just time, right? It's time to put the past in the past and move forward there's someone who's very sweet on you tell me about this king of pentacles who is this person you still might not be sure you know, oh this is somebody who holds you in high regard they could be a taurus with libra in their chart you see there you go yeah so this is somebody who holds you in high regard and i feel like this person finds you very sexy and very attractive oh yes Oh, yeah, end of a cycle. So some of you are ending something. This person, they're, they're going to treat you really well. They're going to make you feel comfortable. This is someone who may spoil you and do really... It's like you're ending one cycle to move into something much better. Things are going in your favor. Oh, 